the Aspen Institute was created almost 70 years ago, and it was there to help us figure out the fundamental values we want to have as a society, and then how to turn those into action. So I'm very excited to participate in the panel. The Aspen Institute has been a great think tank and done a lot of interesting things around the country, and I'm really excited that it's here in New Orleans, and the New Orleans Business Alliance is one of the hosts. There's so much energy here in New Orleans, and I know that's uh, very appropriate to say about New Orleans because of its incredible history of music and culture, but there's a great intellectual energy here as well. And so uh, the outpouring for this seminar and this content has been tremendous, and we're looking forward to another stellar year. The partnership with Aspen Institute allows us to further our work in economic development, specifically in corridor redevelopment, utilizing opportunity zones as a tool. We're going to be discussing essentially the issues around social equity and gentrification as a result of development, how to make sure that as you are redeveloping areas of the city that you do it in a way that's equitable to all. Many cities across the country are experiencing a revitalization and the question is, well, are you pushing people out to bring new people in or are you integrating the existing population with this new development? And the other question, of course, is what took you so long? And so we hope to get to some answers and have some debates about uh, the varying views with respect to urban revitalization here in New Orleans and beyond. I think if we just keep talking about what is it every day in every way that makes life a little bit less equitable, that keeps certain people excluded, that raises the awareness so that then we can turn thought into action. NOLA BA is the principal development organization of the city of New Orleans. Um, we've been working together with NOLA BA uh, this summer, actually really trying to implement our Opportunity Zones program as one of many tools to really attract new investment here to the city of New Orleans. And it's important that as we're thinking about how to grow the city, grow job base, uh, uh, create better and affordable housing, that we do so in a very equitable way. Um, much of the development that takes place around America is done very haphazardly, kind of laissez-faire. Um, and without the city government and organizations like NOLA Business Alliance playing an active role in being thoughtful about how you develop um, in all of the communities, you have a risk of significant displacement. Um, and displacement isn't the goal. The goal is to lift up all those legacy residents who've been here in New Orleans through thick and thin over a long period of time and make sure they get the benefit from the redevelopment that is on its way. We all have to be part of the change, which is to understand, especially in New Orleans, we're all in the same boat. And I almost mean that literally. Uh, you know, we know we have to look out, look out after each other. And we know we have to make an inclusive economy, one that doesn't help exacerbate the wealth divides that plague the rest of our society. On November 19th, the New Orleans Business Alliance will host a Community Economic Development uh, Summit, uh, Ozone Ready, where we're going to show community investors at the local level the best way to structure a transaction to ignite economic development in disadvantaged corridors. If you would like to know more about our summit, please visit www.nolaba.org. We'll have more information on how you can register for the event and all the other work streams that we populate.